Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Come on in. Good morning. Come on in and share the broadcast. Good morning. Come on in quickly and share the broadcast. Good morning, good morning. Come on in and share the broadcast. It's been a while since I've been on Facebook Live. Come on in. Good morning to all of you. Good morning to all of you. It is so good to see all of you. Hey, Lady Lang, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. Come on in. Good morning, Miss Stubbs. How are you? Come on in. Share the broadcast. It's been a while since I've been on Facebook Live. Been so busy doing so much other things. Um, planning the conference that is going to take place in Freeport, Grand Bahama in July. In July. Uh, Dr. Smith, Apostle, how are you? Good to see you, woman of God. Good to see you, mom. Um, come on and share the broadcast. Um, like I said, um, it's been a while since I've been on Facebook Live. It's been a while. Hello, Ivy, how are you? Um, it's been a while since I've been on Facebook Live, mainly because um, I was preoccupied doing some other things. Um, I'm just starting an opening um, ministry, um, learning the ins and outs of um, ministry. Also, um, preparing for the revival that was a success. Um, the woman of God, Prophetess Abigail, was here in Abaco. Man, listen, I think she just literally wrecked Abaco. Abaco will never be the same anymore uh, after that revival. Abaco will not be the same anymore. Um, we had an awesome time. Um, here in Marsh Harbor, Abaco, along with Prophetess Abigail, along with her team, they came over and listen, I, 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 I can't even explain what it is that the Holy Spirit did um, in that place. It was awesome. Listen, healing took place. Deliverance took place. The prophetic word was spoken over um, people's lives. Listen. It was awesome. It, all, that's all I can say. It was awesome. And so we had a wonderful time. And so now I'm continuing the preparations for um, continuing the preparations for um, uh, the conference in Freeport, Grand Bahama. And we just got the venue. We just confirmed the venue, which is going to be at Invaders for Christ. Um, we're going to um, be there on the 26th of July. On the 26th of July at 7.30 p.m. at um, Avedis, um for Christ Ministries, we're going to be there and uh, for the conference. And then on the 28th of July is my ordination service, and that's going to be also at Invaders for Christ. But listen, I didn't come on in for that this morning. I come on in mainly uh, to speak to you a little bit about Elevation. I wanted to speak to you a little bit about elevation, and I also wanted to invite you, those of you that are in Marsh Harbor, Abaco, those of you that have family in Abaco, um, good morning, Chantel, how are you? Um, those of you that um, have family in Marsh Harbor, Abaco, I'm going to, we're going to have prayer this afternoon at 6 p.m. at Walking Into Destiny. And so if you have family in Marsh Harbor, Abaco, you want to go ahead and invite them to come on down to prayer this afternoon at 6 p.m. Also, we're going to have a healing, a one-day healing. The Lord spoke to me and he said that he wanted me to come and lay before him for seven days. And he said, after the seven days, I want you, he said, after the seven days, I want you to have a one-day healing service. And so it's going to be a one day healing and deliverance service. The Lord didn't ask me to do no more than that. No two days, no three days. He said just one day. And so the healing anointing will be in the house that day, which is what, what is the date? I think June 7th, June 7th, we will be in the house. Uh, that's intentional made that's that that is intentional. Um, we will be in the house June 7th at 7 30 p.m. for one night of healing, one night of healing and deliverance. Listen, it's going to be um, a powerful night. It's going to be if you're sick in your body, if you are family members that are sick, 
I'm going to ask you, even for those of you that are off the island, if you can get a name to me, then we can write it down and we can put it on the altar and we can begin to pray for it. I, I, I said to you, the Lord told me to come before him for seven days before the healing. And so for those of you, that's the reason why I mostly came on Facebook Live and I'm going to come on as the time approaches. Um, I'm going to come on a little more often. If you are sick in your body or you have family members that are sick, that you know that are bound in their minds, physically, mentally, spiritually, you know that they are in bondage. Um, uh, Apostle, the conference is going to be in July, but the healing service is next month, which is in June. That's going to be June 7. But if you know someone that is sick, um, cancer, lupus, arthritis, high blood pressure, um, uh, anything, um, diabetes, whatever it is, even just a headache, migraine headaches, whatever it is. Oh yes. We still in May. <laughs> Apostle, you're going too quick. You're going too quick. And so, um, next month, June 7th, we will be in the house and we will be praying. This is what I want to say um, to you and go ahead and share the message. Hey, uh, Prophetess Maxine, how are you? Um, this is what I want to say to you. And this is the reason why I asked you to share the broadcast is that uh, for those of you that are in here in Mashaba Abaco, uh, listen, purchase your olive oil, purchase your olive oil. And uh, on we're going to have prayer on Thursdays and we're going to have midday services on Saturdays. Bring your, your, your olive oils, place your name on it, write your name on it and place it at the altar. I'm going to be at the church for seven days laying before the Lord in prayer for healing and deliverance on June 7th. And so while I am there for those seven days, bring your oil and the names of your family members that are not on the island, send the names. We will write it down. We will put it on the altar and I will be praying and fasting for seven days over those that are sick, those that are, are in bondage, those that need um, healing, those that need to be set free and delivered. Amen. And so for 10, for seven days, I will be at the church praying over the oil and praying over the names. That is the instructions that God give me to come and lay before him for seven days before the healing service. And so if you are here in Mashaba Abaco, find yourself in the house down there at Walking Into Destiny right opposite it um bcn uh tv network and we're going to be uh, uh, uh going into our healing service on june 7 bring your oils bring um your, the names of your loved ones your sick ones that are in bondage that are sick and we will be praying for them and so i want to advise you um i'm going to come on more often uh throughout the the the, the next couple of days to remind you that during on um, um um during our prayer services on Thursdays and our midday services on Saturdays, the church will be open. So please bring your oil, bring the names of your family members. Amen. But I want to talk to you a little bit this morning about um elevation. And uh the Lord started to speak to me yesterday, and he started to show me how a lot of people, his plans are for his people to elevate. And he said to me that there is a window, there has been a window, there is a portal that has been open for elevation, for his people to be elevated. And so if you're still here with me, let me know that you're still here with me. Let me see the hearts. Um, he said that there has been a portal or an opening um, of, of, a, of an a, um, portal for elevation. And for many of you, um, you started off the year strong, but then February rolled around, March rolled around, and it seemed as if things got sluggish. And you was wondering, God, what happened to the promises? Uh, the, the, what happened to, you know, some of you made resolutions and some of you made goals and some of you, you started off, you know, you were happy and you were excited to walk into 2019. And so um, you're trying to figure out what happened, what happened, why it seems as if everything is now sluggish. 
And so today I want to talk to you a little bit about elevation because what God is saying to me, he started to begin to speak. He said that there are a lot of people. There are, there are a lot of people that is waiting on me to move in their life. But the spirit of the Lord said to me yesterday, he said, um, what they don't understand, they fail and they miss. Come on. I did a series on recognizing the seasons. And if you have not um, listened or watched any of those videos, hey, Kimmy, how are you? Um, if you um, did not see, they were early on. I think they probably about two or two, about two year, two years old. Go into my onto my YouTube page, and um, there is a series on recognizing the seasons that you are in. I think I'm going to write a book on recognizing the seasons and use all of those um, videos that I have out on that. Um, but recognizing the season that you're in, and what God said to me yesterday is a lot of saints, a lot of. Uh, Christian people, a lot of his children miss their seasons because they were not able to recognize the season that they were in. My God, that is good. A lot of us, we miss our seasons. We miss our windows of opportunity. We miss some portals and some open, open doors because, hey, I'm um, LaShawn, how are you? We were not able to recognize the season that we were in. And so therefore, because you did not recognize the season that you were in, you were not properly attired to walk or to flow in that season. And so because uh, uh, summer left you and winter came and you were still in your summer dress, you miss your winter season and what it is that God had for you in the winter season. And for many of us, it is mentally. For many of us, it is spiritually. And so God says, not that I did not send the blessing, but you fail to recognize the season that you were in. You failed to move or to flow into the season that I had the blessing line up and waiting for you. God says for many of you, he told you when to move. He told you how to move and he told you where to go. And he said that the blessings was waiting for you. And for many of you at the beginning of the year, you were supposed to run into your blessing. You, your blessing was supposed to knock you over. And the reason why you did not run into your blessing is because you failed to recognize the season that you were in. You failed to, to see the signs. You failed to see uh, 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 the road map that God was trying to lay before you. For many of you, you allow your family members to detour you. You allow church people to detour you. You allow situations that arise to detour you. And so because you were detoured, you miss the opportunity. You miss the open door and you did not recognize the season or the direction that God was pointing you in. And so therefore what God is saying now is that your blessing is still right there. I've already placed it there. All you got to do now is realign yourself, refocus, and begin now to, to, to walk in the path, to align yourself and to walk in the path so that you may be able to walk into your destiny or into your purpose or into the blessings that God has for you in 2019. I want to declare to you today that it is not too late, Kim. It is not too late. Chantel, it is not too late. LaShawn, it is not too late. I'm telling you, people of God, it is not too late. Yes, you, it was delayed, but delayed does not mean denied. And so, people of God, it is time. Hey, um, Lady Shan, um, um, Samantha, how are you? It is time now for you to begin to realign yourself and begin to walk into your purpose and begin to walk into your destiny. Can I declare to you today that no matter how much the enemy begin to detour you no matter how much the enemy tried to sidetrack you no matter how much the enemy put up smoking screens can I declare to you today that you shall arrive at your point of destiny you shall arrive at your point of purpose you shall arrive at the location where your blessings they will not only locate you but they will run you over you are at a place now where you are walking under an open heaven where there has been a portal that is open over you where 
and you are about to walk into your purpose. The blessings of the Lord are about to overtake you and knock you over. Come on, people of God. Yes, it was hard. Yes, the walk was difficult. Yes, you were confused sometimes. You even got lost. You even fell down sometimes. But I'm here to tell you today, listen, get up. And start walking again and allow God now to be a lamp unto your feet to guide you to your blessings. The blessings have already been provided. You've been praying from the, the ending of 2018 and God opened up the storehouse of heaven and has already provided. He has already provided. He has already made arrangements. Some doors were already open, but we allow situations and people to detour us. And so therefore we were not able to walk through those doors, but I'm here to declare to you today that you are about to be realigned. You are about to become focused. You are about to walk in the right path. God is about to shine a light on your feet. You are about to see where it is that you are going. He is about to order your step in the right di direction and your blessings are about to knock you over. Who am I speaking to this morning? And so what God is saying to us in this season, it does not matter what the witches did. It does not matter what the warlock did. It does not matter how much they write your name on the coffin. It does not matter how much they write your name and put it in a bottle and throw it in the sea. It does not matter how much they try to lose you or lost you underneath some um, um, underneath the sea or underneath some cave. It does not matter where they bury your name. It does not matter where they bury your children. Name, I hear the Lord saying to me even now that I am about to dig up. Come on, I hear the Spirit of the Lord speaking to me even now. He says that I'm about to dig up, I'm about to root up, I'm about, He says, I'm about to send a wind, I am about to send the water that will dig up and uproot everything that has been planted in the ground. And so, wherever your name is, wherever your finances is, wherever your inheritance is that has been held up. I hear the spirit of the Lord says, I am about to uproot it. I am about to, 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 to detour the plans of the enemy concerning you. God says, I am about to put you in the right path. And everything that they, has held, they have held up, everything that they have stolen, God says that you shall receive it not only sevenfold, but you are about to receive it 14. My God. God says not just seven. He says, but 14. He said, double it. Have a double it, double it, double it, double it. So not only will the enemy have to return to you sevenfold, he will have to double that and return seven, fourteenfold that which he has stolen from you. And so God is about to elevate you in this season. Those that said that you would not make it, those that says the, said that the ministry will not last, those that says I only give her, I only give him three months, I only give her, I only give him six months. And then the ministry can shut. Watch she can come crawling back to me. Watch they can come crawling back to me. But I hear the spirit of the Lord says, uh, when I sent you, I illuminated your path. Uh, and because I called you, I have appointed you. And so because I send you, you cannot fail, says the spirit of the living God. Uh, I don't care how it look. I don't care how the situation look. I don't care how much. Come on, when the disciples was in the boat and the waters begin to raw and the wind begin to back out of control man listen they begin to get afraid and they become fearful but the lord was on the ship and so i don't care how much the winds became become angry i don't care how much the, the water become angry guess what god is about to come through and he is about to speak to your situation and he is about to say peace be still come on somebody begin to declare on the line today Peace be still. Speak to your finances. Speak to your body. Speak to cancer. Speak to hypertension and say, peace be still. Come on, speak to the waters. Speak to the winds. Speak to the four corners. Come on, of this earth and begin to declare, peace be still. And so God is about to elevate you in this season. Come on, peace be still.
You got to speak. You got to speak. That husband that don't that just don't want to be here. If that wife that just don't want to be here. If, come on. That supervisor on the job that just won't allow you to be great. Come on. Peace. Be still. And they can be looking at you like you crazy when you walk inside the, uh, um, um, the workplace and you begin to declare peace. Be still. When you go to your desk and you begin to declare peace. Be still. When you go home and you begin to declare peace. Be still. You're washing the dishes when you're saying peace. Be still. Come on. You speak into your body and saying peace. Be still. You walk into the bank and you begin to declare peace. Be still. You walk onto that piece of property and you begin, begin to declare peace. Be still. Come on. I hear, I'm here to declare to you this morning that as you speak it so shall it be unto you and so I need you to begin to declare in this atmosphere as the heavens are open come on begin to declare peace be still and so even the waters come on even the waters had to obey the instructions of Jesus Christ and so today the instruction to you is peace be still God is about to elevate you. God is about to open some doors. As a matter of fact, they've already been open. And God has already opened the doors. Now it's time for you to realign yourself. It's now time for you to refocus. It's now time to drop the things and drop the people and drop everything that has been sidetracking you. Ain't like you don't know what's been sidetracking you. Come on, you know, you know the people that has been standing in your way. You know the family members that just don't believe that you are a woman of God, that you are a man of God. Come on. You know those sets on the job that have been talking about you. You know who they are. But you refuse to let them go. But I hear the Spirit of the Lord say as you've arrived at your point or in your season of elevation. And this time you will not miss. This time you'll be properly attired. This time, this time, my God, I need somebody to declare that. This time, I will win. This time, I will recognize my season. This time, this time, this time, I will not fail. This time, I will be successful. This time, I will receive the marriage. This time, I will receive the, 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 the house. This time, I will receive it. My God, somebody, come on. This time, the word will begin to be manifested in my life. Come on. Somebody got to declare. This time, this time, I shall not fail. This time I shall not come up empty handed. This time I will pursue, overtake, come on and receive everything that God has for me. Not only sevenfold, but fourteenfold that which the enemy has stolen. And so God is saying in this season, blessings, Canada, blessings, Bernadette. God is saying, excuse me, God is saying in this season that he is. Um, you're walking in a season of elevation, but you got to be in position. You got to begin to realign yourself. You got to be able now to refocus and be able to place yourself in position to receive what it is that God has already provided for you. And he's not going to do it. He has already done it. The very thing that we waiting on, uh, I heard something the other day and it was so profound. I heard a man of God says, a man of God, I, I believe it was a man, I can't remember, but, but, but what they said that was so profound that prophecy, everything that, you know, a prophet would declare to you and say that it is happening in the future, it is only the past to God. And so our future is the past to God, meaning now that it has already taken place. God has already seen it. Man, listen, God, before um, Adam and Eve could have sinned in the garden, he already had the lamb that was prepared to die for our sins. And so therefore, God is so great in his infinite wisdom, in his mind, he already knew in his mind that, listen, I, I already have a lamb prepared. And so therefore, when a prophet comes to you and say, God is going to give you the house and God is going to heal you, understand that it is already done in the spiritual realm. Your future is God's past. My God. That was good. Your future is God's past. And so it is already done. 
You are already victorious. You already have the house. You are already healed from cancer. You are already healed in your body. You are already set free. You are already delivered. The inheritance is already yours. And all you got to do is align yourself to receive what God has already provided. My God, I feel like screaming on this line today. My God. I received this word even for myself. It has already been provided. I am 38 years old, God. Where's the husband? God, I am 42 years old. Where's the wife? God, I am 15. Where's the husband that you said that you was going to send? Where's the house, God? Where's the finances? Where's the inheritance? Where's the land that you promised me? But God is saying there is a predestined time for these things to be manifested in your life. I've already done it. Woo! My God. And so God says, blessings Miyoshi. I've already done it. Your future is his past. Your future is his past. And so even before Jesus was crucified on the cross, he had already provided the lamb from the beginning or from the foundations of the earth. And so this is the reason why if you if you if you think that I talk in a whole heap of crap, this is the reason why you can go back in the Bible and, and, and God says, listen, I knew you even before you were formed in the womb, meaning now that God knew you. He knew your life. He already had it planned out. He already had it mapped out. And so he knew you. He knew that he called you to be a business owner. He knew that he called you to be a prophet. He knew he called you to be a, 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 a kingdom financier. He know he called you. As, a, as an apostle from the fountain. You wasn't even in your mother's mind. But he said, I knew you. Come on. He said, I knew you. And so what you are walking into now, God has already seen it. And so the prophetic word that we always running for, that we always looking for, understand that when that prophetic word is spoken over your life, receive it because it's already done in the spiritual realm. My God, who's receiving this word today? Receive it because it's already done in the spiritual realm. And all you have to do is stand in position and prepare yourself because it's already done. And so you are walking into a season of elevation. God is about to elevate you. The people that says it said it couldn't be done, those that try to hold you back even on the job, they try to withhold the promotion uh, 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 even in the church, they try to withhold you from your true position. They don't want to groom you. They don't want to call you or accept you as prophet. They don't want to accept you as minister. They don't want to acknowledge you as pastor. They don't want to acknowledge your gifts. But I hear here the spirit of the Lord says those that fail to recognize you he says I will place them around a table and your table where they will have no other choice but to recognize acknowledge you in the position that I have placed you I hear the spirit of the Lord says do not call yourself or name yourself anything that I did not call you God says I call you successful God says I call you the head God says I call you the leader God God says, I call you the priest. God says, I call you apostle. God says, I call you prophetess. God says, I call you minister. Even before the foundation of the earth. And so when they're trying to belittle you and, 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 and try to classify you in a position that God did not put you, put your feet down and begin to declare that I am blessed of the Lord. I am highly favored. When they say you couldn't do it, then God says you can do it. When they say Said it was impossible. God said it is possible. When they said you couldn't be a pastor, God says, I call you as a pastor. When they said that you couldn't open the ministry, God says, go ahead. When, when you said, God, I want to stay here because I'm comfortable, God says, I call you to be separated. Come on, people of God. You got to understand the season that you are walking in. You got to be able to open your eyes spiritually and be able to see where God 
is taking you, you got to be able to stand above 15, 100, 200, 1,000 yards back and be able to see 1,000 yards forward where God is about to take you. And for many of you on this line today, God is about to slingshot you to your predestined place, the place that you are, were supposed to be right at this moment, but you were held back by some pastor, by someone that thought that you wasn't supposed to be there, that thought that you wasn't good enough. I'm here, the Lord, I'm here to declare to you today that God is about to slingshot you to your predestinated place. And so people of God, you are walking in your season of elevation. You will not miss in this season. You cannot miss in this season. Come on. Even if you did not know the season that you are about to walk into. Even if you didn't know. God sent me on this line today to declare to you today. So that you cannot miss this time. My God. So that you cannot miss this time. That you are in your season of elevation. And so, yes, God is preparing a table before your enemies in the presence of your enemies. Come on. God is preparing a table in the presence of your enemies. God waited till the situation was dead. He waited till it seems as if there was no way out. He let them see that you were going through the struggles. He let them see you pulling your hair. He let them see that you couldn't afford the Remy. He let them see that you went through the cancer. You went through the sickness. He let them see you ending up in the hospital. Come on. And right when they thought that you was not coming back, just when they thought you couldn't make it out of this, just when they thought you would not take another breath, just when they bought, went and bought the coffin, just when they went and bought the black dress and the black suit, God decided that my God, who is this for today? God did a miracle right in their presence. And so, people of God, don't mind the little aches, don't mind the little pain, don't mind the little struggle, don't mind the little attacks, don't mind the little fight. God says, I was only preparing a table. My God, who was this for today? I was only preparing a table. Coley, he said, I was only preparing a table. Come on, Brenda. He says, I was only preparing a table. Come on. He says, I was only preparing the table. And so now the table has already been prepared. The napkins are down. Come on. The utensils are down. The, 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 the plates. Come on. The china is down. The table has already been prepared. And so all you got to do now is stand on the side while he invites your enemies. Come on. And while they are having a seat, God will say, now watch as I elevate my God. Now watch as I elevate my daughter. Now wait as I elevate my son to the position that you said they couldn't have to the position you said that they will never attain to God says watch my son watch my daughter isn't that what he did with Job he says now watch now devil go ahead do what you got to do you could do this and you could take that and you could take that but you do not have the authority to take his life my God Ooh, Jesus this is good listen <clears throat> Yes, the devil could arise. Yes, he could do this. Yes, he could strip you. Yes, he could do that. But he does not have the authority to take your life. If he had the authority to take your life, he would have done it a long time ago. And so he does not have the authority to touch your life. So all he can do is sit back and watch as God bless you. And so this is what God is saying in this season. You all gather around. Yes, uh -huh, gather around and watch. Come on. That's what he's saying, Kim. He's saying, watch now. Because you've proven yourself. You've been faithful. You've been faithful in little. You've been faithful. You've been faithful in your tithes. You've been faithful in coming to church. You've been faithful. You've been faithful even though they was talking about you. You've been faithful. My God, you've been faithful. And so God says, watch now. He went to the tomb and he says, and he said, and he said, Lazarus, come forth. After everyone had gathered and they say Lazarus is dead. What is this man coming to this tomb for now? 
Why he come into this tomb now? He done been dead three days. Your situation has been dead for three days. Your situation has been dead for three years. Your situation has been dead. Come on. It's been dead. It's been dead. The marriage has been dead. Everything has been dead. Your finances has been dead. Your body. Come on. It's just like it's been dead. Everything is like it's been dead. But I hear the spirit of the Lord says in three days. Lazarus come forth in three days. I will perform a miracle in your life and they will know that I am God in your life. Truly, they will know that a prophet has spoken. Truly, they will know my God, who am I speaking to today? My God, hallelujah. Jesus, I feel the presence of the living God in this place. I didn't even come on on live to do all of this. And as you can see, the Lord tell me to limit my time on live. You got to know your season. You got to know your season. For the past three years, God have me to come on to live, do the teaching and do all of that and to pour out into people, pour out into people, pour out into people. And I kept on asking God, God, are they getting it? Are they getting it? Even when I prophesied and I minister to people and they don't come back to say thank you. And I keep on asking God, did they get it, God? I don't want them to come and tell me thank you, but did they receive it, God? Did the, did the marriage come true? Did the baby come forth? Did they receive the house? Did they receive the inheritance? Did they receive the finances and I'm always asking God but God says that is not your concern speak the word and let it go and so God had me for a season to come on Facebook live and to minister and this season God saying no more no more you'll realize that sometimes when I come on live I don't even minister to anyone anymore I would do a teaching and then that, that's it Because I was in a phase or a season where God say, okay, teach, minister, prophesy, do this, do that. And then you come to a season where God say, okay, that's it. But you have to recognize the season that you are in. And so the season that I'm in now is to the place where God is ushering me from uh, one place in my life to another place in my life. And so now I have to learn how to be a pastor. I have to learn how to be, you know, um, in a house, how to shepherd, how to look after. Although I would prefer being on the street, although I would prefer traveling, God says, this is the season now for you to recognize how to pastor. I did not say God will allow me to be a pastor all my life, but at this very junction and, and season in my life, God says, I need you to learn how to shepherd. And so this is the season in my life that I am in now, and I'm watching God do some amazing things. My God, apostle from prophet to pastor, man, listen, <laughs> Listen, listen, God does some amazing things, Apostle. He does some amazing things. And so, people of God, we have to know, um, we have to be able to recognize the season. And like I said, I have um some I have some videos on YouTube uh where I am discussing the seasons, recognizing the seasons in your life. And so for many of us, we've been missing God because we cannot recognize the seasons. And so because you can't recognize the season, you were not able to flow from one season to another season. You were not properly attired to go from one season to another season. Why? Because you did not know when God shifted. Amen. You did not know when God shifted. And so people of God, we have to be to the place where we recognize the season that we are in. And so listen, I'm excited. I'm excited about the word today. I'm excited for the season that we are in. I'm excited for what it is that God is about to do. Listen, I see elevation, 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 elevation. Amen. I see elevation, elevation. Uh, 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 apostle, if you are still here, I'm seeing where God is taking you to a place where you're doing more teaching, more more workshops, more, um, um, not conferences per se, but more workshops. I'm seeing one or two revivals and, and conferences, but I'm seeing more workshop where God will have you to a place where you're teaching more, where you're equipping the body more. I'm seeing where you're doing, I don't know, seminars, um, um, seminars, more seminars, Apostle um, 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 Smith. I'm seeing where you're doing more seminars and more teaching um, 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 apostle. That's what I'm seeing in the, um, spiritual realm. I'm seeing it where it's almost like a classroom setting. 
And for some reason, I don't know, I'm saying like this booklet, but the booklet has your name on it. It's like, I don't know if it's um, a, 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 a handbook or workbook that you created reference to these classes and seminars, but you will be teaching from a book of, that was created by you. That's what I'm seeing in the spiritual realm. It was created by you. I don't know if it's a how-to book or, or I don't know, but it's a handbook, but I see your name on it. It is your book, and you'll be teaching the seminars from that book. It will be guideline from that book. Ah, Holy Spirit, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Miyoshi, as I see your name, I hear the Spirit of the Lord says financial release. As I see your name, as I see your name, the, I, the first the word that I hear is financial release. I don't know what God is about to do in your life. I don't know what position you are in, Miyoshi. But I hear the Lord saying financial release. Amen. Kimmy, I don't understand what God is saying, but I'm seeing a white paper. And there is, God, what is the amount? There is an amount on the paper. I'm seeing an amount, but God wouldn't let me release it. But there is a, an amount. It's like an, a check, but I'm seeing an amount written on it. And it is for a particular school. And so I don't know if you have school fees to pay. I don't know if you want to go back to school or if you are in school, but I'm seeing a check that is given to you in order for payments to be made to a school. Receive it. Receive it, Kim. Receive it. Lucretia, I hear in the Spirit of the Lord said, I want all of you because there is a work that he wants to do in your life. I'm hearing the Spirit of the Lord said that he wants all of you, not just a little piece. He said, I want all of you. God is going to take you to a place, Lady Lucretia, where he is going to bring you to a place of consecration, where you're going to feel as if you were in the desert all by yourself and you're going to ask God, why you? Because he's going to take you to a place now where people will begin to fall away. Now, people love you. They love your spirit. They're not going to be against you. But they're going to, God is going to cause them to stay away from you for a season. And you, you love people. You don't mind talking. You don't mind fellowship. And you love people. You love to laugh. You like to crack jokes. But God is going to take you to a season of consecration where he's going to bring you uh, like a almost lonely. But in this time, during this time, God is going to begin to pour in you. Because there is a level that God want to take you to. But you cannot get there until you are separated. And so later... Lady um, Lang, God is saying in this season, he is about to cause you to be separated. And I believe that's the word called, that, that is the word for consecrated. So he is going to consecrate you, bring you to a place of separation where he is about to take you or fill you up in order for you to move into another season or another level or another realm in him. But he wants all of you. You got to commit to him wholeheartedly. He don't want 95%. He don't want 98%. He want a hundred percent of you. And so that's a commitment you got to make to God, Lady Lucretia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Chantel, I hear the Lord said, and this is, I, I, I try my best um, to limit conversations with people so they don't think that if I'm saying something to them, it's only because of what I know. I hear the Lord saying that there has been a plot. The enemy has been trying to steal your daughter's um, um, inheritance. And because the enemy knows your plan towards the people of God and towards kingdom, you have a kingdom mindset. This is for Chantel. You have a kingdom mindset. And because you have a kingdom mindset, God has called you to be a kingdom financier. Prophetess. Yes, I said prophetess. God has... Good morning, Jennifer. How are you? Uh... Chantel, God has called you as a prophetess. He has called you as a kingdom financier. A lot of people... Ah, God. Holy Spirit. You're, you're like a, oh, this thing what we learn in school when, when they call the tongue of the sea, I think. Oh, Holy Spirit, help me today. The tongue of the sea, where you are like the sea, but there's, you have a point 
where the water will flow into different directions. And this is what God called you as. You are like the tongue of the sea where waters will come through you. You hold it, but the water will come through you and get, go in different and separate direction. My God, I wish I was in the front of you to explain this to you properly. Where water will channel in different locations. And God is saying, that's what I call you as. As a kingdom financier where water, where money is, will come through you. And you will be able to dispatch it in different locations. And you will be faithful in this. God says you will be faithful in this. He can trust you with this. There's not many people, Chantel, Prophet Chantel, there's not many people that God can trust with money or with treasure. But God says, I can trust you. That's it right there, um, Apostle. Thank you so much. Where God can trust you with it and you are able to say, Okay, this is the man of God I should bless. This is the ministry I should bless. This is how I should line up this money for my daughter. This is how I should invest this in. God says, because I can trust you. And God is saying in this season, because they try to steal your daughter's inheritance, inheritance, I hear the Lord says, not only shall I give her her inheritance, but I will map out her life. And your daughter is called to be a prophetess also. She will be even greater than yourself. God says, because they tried to steal it and ruin her life. God says, I will double it. Not only will she receive it, but I hear the Lord saying scholarship will be hers. I'm hearing the Lord saying that even when she go to school, you don't even have to worry about a thing. I'm singing where you worrying about where this will come from and where that will come from. Listen, God has gifted and her mind to the point where she will blow your mind on what it is that she will do because of her brilliance and knowledge. God, God will open doors for her. People will fall in love with her and just want to pay school fee and buy her books and take her on trips. And you will even become a friend and be like, boy, I don't know who these people is, but people will want to take her on trips. They will want to take her on school trips. You, listen, your daughter is set. She's set. And so the very thing that they try to steal, God says, I'm about to give it back to her double. I'm about to give it back to her double. Lashan Cooper, I don't know what it is that you do. I don't know if you teach. I don't know if you're, I don't know what it is, but I'm seeing something like in the teaching arena. I don't know what you do, but I see where there's like a teaching anointing on you. I don't know if you deal with kids. I don't know if you, if you teach or if you do Sunday school in church, I don't know what you do, but if you're not doing it, that's the area where, you should be focused on, on teaching. LaShawn Cooper, um, that's what I'm saying in the spiritual realm. I'm saying a teaching anointing where you, you know how to break down things in simple form and cause people to understand. And so God has given you a teaching anointing and that is where, how do I say it, your wealth is. That is where your wealth is. And so if you didn't, I don't know if you're teaching, I don't know what it is that you're doing. Um, I don't know what it is that you're teaching, but I'm seeing a teaching anointing. I'm seeing a teaching anointing on your life. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. And so, yes, people of God, I was looking to see if there was anything else that the Lord and so, people of God, if you are in Mashaba Abaco, please, um, today we're going to be at Walking Into Destiny. Bring your oil, bring your oil, put your name on it, and place it before the altar. We're going to be there for midday service on Saturday. Bring your oil, place your name on it, and bring it to the altar. For those people that are sick and on other islands, other country states, and you know that they are sick, write their name down and bring it to the altar. I will be there for seven days before June 7. I will be there for seven days laying before the Lord, praying for healing and deliverance. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. We're going to have healing and deliverance service on June 7. Hey, Torin, how are you? <laughs> Good to see you, man of God. Good to see you. And 
Okay, LaShawn, man, listen, that confirmation. Look at the confirmation. <laughs> LaShawn, thank you for that confirmation. <laughs> so people don't think that this prophet is dropping on. <laughs> Just tripping out. But yes, I saw, I'm seeing like this teaching, you know, I'm seeing like a teaching type of thing where, you know, I, that, that's what I saw. I saw this teaching anointing on you. And so go ahead and receive it. Go ahead, you know, and receive it and you will flourish in that area. You will flourish. You will flourish in that area. And so thank you for that um, confirmation word. Thank you so much. Um, but Lashan, go into that area. God, God, God is going to, that's your place of elevation. It is your place of elevation. And so God is about to do it. And and so, people of God, blessings, apostle, and have a very nice day. God bless you. God bless you. And so, people of God, yes, God is um, um, bringing you to a place of elevation. Your blessings are already provided for you. And so, all you have to do now is bring yourself into alignment, uh, refocus, and begin to walk into your destiny. And before you know it, your blessings will knock you over. This is what God is doing in this season. Uh, these are, are, are the, the June, July, August, September, and even going into October, God is going to be blessing his people. He's going to be blessing his people. And there was, I don't recall which video it was, so I can't recall which one it is to even repost it or share it. But I began to minister to you a few months ago and began to tell you that I saw something happening in the Camp Road um, 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 area in Nassau. I never, I don't know if I've been to Camp Road before. I don't know where it is, but I ministered to you. I don't know if those of you on the line, if you can recall, but I, 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 I stated to you that God was showing me me something erupting or in the camp road area i saw a lot of um, murder i saw a lot of bloodshed and i ministered to you on the line a few months ago that there were going to be a lot of bloodshed amen and then um um there was another thing there was another thing there was another thing oh um I told you a few months ago, if you're on the line and you can remember, um, I told you a few months ago that there were going to be some um, news coming out of the House of Assembly. I saw a man in a suit and I saw him standing up and walking out of the House of Assembly. I don't know if you're on the line who, who was on the line and they were speaking, but I saw some stuff happening in the House of Assembly. And before long, God is saying you will see it. The time is nearer now that you will see some stuff happening in the House of Assembly where um, uh, uh, I, I, then I saw a man in a suit getting up and walking out. And so, you know, keep your eyes um, um, tuned and your ears tuned uh, to watch out and to look out for what God is doing in this season. But people of God, God has bring you to the place of elevation where no matter what the enemy has done, I don't care what they do. They can go to the graveyard and show graveyard dust around your house, your business, all they want. But you are destined to win in this season. You are at your place of elevation and God is about to do it. If you are in Mashaba Abaco, come out to prayer tonight. Um, bring your olive oil. Bring it. Um, place it at the altar. We, we will be praying over it until June 7, the day of our healing and deliverance service. Um, for those people that are sick and they are not here, bring them on June 7. Bring the sick. Bring the sick. Bring the sick. I don't care if it's migraine. Bring the sick and watch God heal set free and delivered on June 7. For those that are not on the island, bring their name, write it down and place it um, um, at the altar and we will be praying um, we will be praying for those people until June 7. Amen. And so blessings to all of you. Love you for coming on in. Love you for watching. If you did not share the broadcast, go ahead, do that now. Share the broadcast and once you have shared it, type share on the screen once you've shared the broadcast thank you for coming on in the conference will be in july in freeport grand bahama so for all of my freeport people i am coming home in july uh the conference is going to be on the 26th of july at 7 30 p.m at invaders for christ ministries amen uh, 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 invaders for christ ministries mm -hmm. at 7 30 p.m you don't want to miss it we have speakers like prof prophet Cla 
Clyde Daxon will be in the house. We have Prophetess Abigail that will be speaking, and Apostle Shamine Roberts will also be speaking um, during those the night of um, the conference. Also, my ordination is set for that Sunday, which will be the 28th of July, also at Invaders for Christ. So I'm asking you to come out and celebrate with me. Um, as God has taken me to another level. I appreciate you. I love you. Thank you for listening. And may God continue to bless you. For those that share the broadcast, may God continue to bless you. May he open up the, uh, the, the, the windows of heaven and begin to pour you out a blessing that you do not have room to contain. We thank you, Lord, for all that you've done and all that you are about to do. We thank you, O oh God, that even as we depart from this line today, that you, your presence will not depart from us, that you will go with us, that you will be with us, that you will guide us, that you will illuminate our path, that we will be able to go in the path and the direction that you will have us to go into, that we, Father God, are walking in a season of elevation where we shall receive the blessings that you have already provided. And now we speak manifest. Manifestation. We speak, O oh God, and we seal every prophetic word that was spoken on this line today. We seal it with the blood of Jesus Christ. I seal your people right now under the blood of Jesus Christ right now. Their finances, their homes, their businesses, their children, and everything connected to them, godly connection to them, Father. We seal it under the blood of Jesus Christ. Every monitoring spirit on this line and that is standing around to disrupt every demonic communication we call we cancel it right now in the name of jesus no weapon no weapon that has been formed against your people will be able to prosper in the name of jesus and every tongue that rise up against your people in this season they shall they will be condemned in the name of jesus now god cover us protect us in jesus name we pray we come against retaliation we come against backlash right now in the name of Jesus. Father, we praise you. We are careful to give you all of the glory. We are careful to give you all of the honor. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you for coming in, guys. Share the broadcast if you have not as yet. Go and check out my YouTube page for videos that will be downloaded.